In this particular section, we'll be using a storage queue to trigger an app function. So again, it's a very simple procedure. You have the event, which is of type queue here. And then the name is basically my queue item. So you can use my queue item to access the contents of that particular queue. And it's available for use in your code as well. So you can use it in your code as either context.binding.myQuitem or you can have it as my queue item as a second parameter itself. So using this, you can access the particular contents of the queue. And the third is basically the queue name. So this is the queue name that you need to configure in your storage account. So let's start by deploying this particular function. So once again, I have my queue. It's basically the name of the queue is JSQ items. And my queue item is basically to get the contents of the queue. This particular variable can be used in our code. So let's deploy this particular function. And let's look at the function as well. So it's my queue storage dot hello. So if I go to queue storage dot hello, I'm just displaying the contents of the queue. So let's deploy this particular function. Okay, so our application is deployed. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a queue by this particular name. So I will just copy this. So let's go to the resource group. And this is our resource group. So let me find the corresponding storage account. So this is the storage account. And in this particular storage account, what we need to do is we need to create a queue. So I'll open the queue. And this will be the name of the queue. Click on OK. And within this queue, I will send a message. And when I click on OK, this particular event should trigger that app function. So let's go back to our app function and let's see whether that event has been triggered. Go back to my function app. Click on function. The first thing we'll see is what is the trigger that causes this app function to execute. So let's go to integration. So you can see that it's being triggered by a queue storage. So again, let's go back to monitor and let's see whether it has been triggered. So it generally takes a few minutes. So let's just wait for a minute. And you can see that the function has been triggered. So let's just open this and let's see. So you can see the content here test. So this is something that we had uh, console.logged in the code itself. So this is a way in which you can use your storage account queue to trigger a app function using serverless.